What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today is Wednesday and recently a lot of my videos have been starting in the afternoon right before my afternoon training session so I thought today I'd switch it up and show you guys what my morning training session looks like. Normally morning sessions when you do doubles on our program at Performance One they look something like squats front or back and then some sort of technical work with the snatch and clean and jerk. For this cycle in particular leading up to nationals I've been front squatting on Monday and Friday and been back squatting on Wednesday and the technical work looks Looks something like no foot movement from some sort of hang position, whether it be above knee, below knee, mid thigh. It is about 7:30, and we're going to head inside real quick and grab some breakfast. I saw some of you guys were not a fan of my syrups on eggs, but I already hate eggs as they are, and I've been eating them every morning. Probably some combinations I've just been trying out just to change it up that I don't even want to tell you guys. We're gonna do this ice bath water to dump this out because this is disgusting. One thing I do recommend doing in the morning since this is like a morning video, get like a notebook daily, write three things you're grateful for, three like positive affirmations. Uh, I know it sounds cliche, I started doing it recently, especially leading up to nationals and I feel like it has helped me a lot. Why? I don't know if it's like sub subconscious reason or maybe even a placebo effect, give it a try. It honestly, it honestly has helped me out and my training out in just the slightest bit. And any little edge you get, I say take it. Ooh. Yo, I know Gallon Gear sent me a free one, but I've been using it the past couple of days and it's dirty and I need to wash it. So, gotta roll with the naked guy today. Today's back squat day, as you guys know. Coach said we wouldn't be going that heavy on back squats anymore leading up to the competition unless it was singles. Last week I had 210 for doubles. So I'm saying, I'm um, my magic prediction is 220 for singles. Check. The grills in my mouth double as a breeze but first things first we always start off with a general warm-up some sort of movement to get the blood flowing whether it be assault bike jump roping taking a jog outside today was 10 minutes on the assault bike what we've been doing on this is all nose breathing so you shut your mouth breathe through your nose the entire time and I do see some benefits from it it has increased my breathing ability and cardio a lot it's really it's pretty hard at first and it makes your nose feel really dry but within a few weeks you get used to it so give it a try next for the general warm-up I had some bear crawls and leg extensions but those are kind of boring so I didn't record them always after my general warm-up I try to incorporate some sort of specific warm-up for the movement I'm doing in that session or during that day um, since I was squatting I did side planks to get the core warmed up sat in a squat position kind of moved around got comfortable loosened up and I also did some step downs just to kind of warm up my knees because in the past I did have some really bad knee tendonitis and I've noticed and after watching Max Lang's video, shout out to Max Lang, that a big part of it was just your knees are not warmed up yet. If you guys are having a problem with knee tendonitis, just make sure your knees are really warmed up. He has a really good knee warm up video, so I'll link it down below. Alright guys, now we move on to squats, and as you saw on the paper, the goal was to do 215 for two singles, and then a drop set at 190 for five. But in my head, I really wanted to get that 220.
after squats guys we move on to our technique work today on snatches we had no foot movement from below knee hang ideally guys on no foot movements you don't want your foot to move one single bit it is okay if your heel comes up as you see mine does but i'm actively working on trying to get zero movement of the heel and whole foot where my foot stays exactly in the same position then on clean and jerk we had again below knee from the hang no foot movements with pause jerks now with the pause jerks you want to sit at the bottom of your dip and make sure when you drive you don't do an extra little dip you just want to drive straight out of that position that's the ideal movement for the pause jerk And after I finish those, I always, always drink a protein shake right after I finish my exercises. This is to get something in my stomach right away so my muscles can start recovering. And after I throw that protein shake down, I always, always try to stretch out, roll out so I don't go home and I get super tightened up. guys so i've been using massage guns for a while now i'm honestly thrilled to be sent one and thank you guys over there at hydrogun i really appreciate it getting home from squats in the morning i like to go around my tendons and ligaments and loosen up my joints it's really easy to become stiff especially in these areas that are hard to get to with like stretching and foam rollers the good thing about massage guns it's super easy to do it doesn't require a lot of focus at all you can just throw on a tv show you can throw on a youtube video sit there and get some recovery work done i've had one before my parents actually got me one for christmas this one guys by far is is the best one i've seen so i've used stair guns i've used all the ones you get on amazon for like a hundred dollars and this one is the real deal it's made out of all metal it is super quiet super sleek this is on the highest setting and reference here's the one i got for christmas it's a lot heavier so it feels like a lot more heavy duty it hits harder i also really like the angled handle because it allows you to get to your upper back more, kind of reach a lot further down. So thank you guys, the Hydrogun again. Gonna be using the crap out of this. Shout out to Aldo, my barber. My Asian dudes out there, I'm pretty sure you know. My hair is super thick and straight, so I've always had a hard time getting nice haircuts. But my boy Aldo, I'm shouting you out right now. Here's his Instagram. Always gives me the cleanest haircuts. Like, don't pay attention to my acne. I'm sorry. But the fade, the fade, dude. So, if you're in the East Valley, follow Aldo on Instagram and hit him up for a haircut. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your support. We're super close to Senior Nationals. I'm super excited. If you guys are there, say hi to me. If you're new around here, make sure to hit that sub button. If you like the video, drop a like down below. And we'll see you guys in the next one.